Cars have certainly come a long way since Henry Ford manufactured the Model T more than a hundred years ago. They have become mainstays of the modern economy. One only needs to look at the maps of major cities in the world, such as Manila and New York, to see this. Despite these conveniences offered by this revolutionizing invention, cars also have directly caused destruction. Due to their size and weight, they can cause inconsiderable damage to life and property. Traffic-related accidents have been leading causes of deaths in the world, according to the World Health Organization. This huge problem can be solved when we realize that vehicles should be able to talk to their environment. Inventors at Ford have enabled precisely this. They have developed a system that allows for cars to collect valuable input from their environment, such as the velocity and acceleration of nearby objects and their location and relative distances, as well as local traffic regulations, process these inputs in-house, and then react accordingly by controlling the car's brakes independent of the driver. Signals are first acquired from the car's environment by detectors. Global positioning systems, radar, lidar, and cameras positioned in the car determine the precise location of the car and all surrounding objects, especially traffic-related infrastructure such as signs and traffic stops, as well as dimensioned kinematic data through a tandem of radio waves and light. These sensory inputs are then fed into an operating system located nearby that calculates the time to intersect, or TTI, with foreign objects using simple kinematic equations and then informs the other parts of the system in the car. The operating system then accordingly activates the braking system of the car autonomously and relays the sensory inputs as well as the calculated time to intersect to other vehicles via the dedicated short-range communications protocols or DSRCs which use a dedicated frequency band in order to avoid interference from other signals such as Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and the like. The Vehicle to Infrastructure Communication System builds on three prior inventions, the Highway Merge Assistant and Control which enables cars in intersections and merging lanes to inform each other about their location and velocity as well as enabling negotiation between drivers as to the sequence of merging, the onboard vehicle warning system which uses a DSRC to enable the car and driver to communicate with its immediate surroundings in order to ensure compliance with local traffic regulations, and the driver notification system which alerts the driver of potential obstacles in the path of the car using data gathered through the use of radio waves. Here is a video from the U.S. Department of Transportation showing how V2I communication works. Now, this technology, apart from saving lives and by preventing collisions, can also save us from the horrors of our everyday commute. Traffic in Manila and elsewhere in the Philippines has become progressively worse due to outdated and lagging infrastructure. Given that an efficient road system as well as proper spending for public transportation takes time, V2I can help us out in the short term by enabling the vehicles that ply Metro Manila's roads every day to work together to make sure that everyone gets to where they want to go on time. Researchers have determined human perception as one of the factors in traffic. Showing here on the upper left is an experimental recreation of the vehicular buildup caused by people inordinately stepping on their brakes. V2I can step squarely into this problem by eliminating the factor of human error in traffic and make vehicles do the thinking themselves. Lives are at stake in Metro Manila and elsewhere, and for now, V2I can be our saving grace.